North Carolina State, Kentucky, Memphis, Oklahoma. Some of these letters you didn't even bother opening. No, I just didn't waste my time even opening. Because they're all saying the same thing? Yeah, everybody want me, everybody just talking good about me. Yeah. But McClover says it wasn't until he attended an all-star camp at Louisiana State University that he realized how another game is played, a game of money and influence. Somebody came to me, I don't even know this person, and he was like, we would love for you to come to LSU, and he gave me a handshake, and I had $500 in there. $500 mm -hmm. in his hand? That was called a money handshake. Money handshake? Yeah. And what are you thinking? And I, and I grabbed it, and I'm like, wow. Hell, I thought $10 was a lot of money back then. So, you know, $500 for doing nothing. But what I was blessed to do, I was happy. What and do you say to the guy when he hands you $500? Thank you. Thank you. And, and I'm seriously thinking about coming to LSU. And in case you're wondering, yes, that's against NCAA rules. But McClover says there were money handshakes from boosters at other football camps, too. At Auburn for a couple hundred dollars and also at Michigan State. All the schools denied any wrongdoing. How vulnerable were you very, to, very. to the money, to the attraction of what big time recruiting can bring? If you're a kid coming out of this hood right here, nobody ever shows you really too much interest. And you know this, this dude is coming from a big time college institution. And if he offers you anything, you, you take it as a message from God almost like, thank you, Jesus, this man giving me money. Billy, you've been actively engaged for almost four decades in college basketball. How filthy is it? You I tell me. I, I think the recruitment of college basketball players, unlike football, which I know nothing about, is, is uh, worse than it's ever been. I think that uh, basically what we're doing now in the sport of basketball is taking 12 and 13 year old kids and also starting their, their situation to play across country to play on AAU teams that are not even in their neighborhoods, to basically be represented as individuals and as teams, shoe companies that in effect are supporting these AAU teams. I think it's totally, totally out of control. Well, I, this may sound crazy. I personally have been involved in college coaching 25 years, and I think the game is cleaner now than it has been in 20 years or 30 years. It's more public, so everything else. But there are still, still some issues. I think the NSA is understaffed, first off. And, and I think it also may be a little misguided. I think, you know, sometimes instead of going after the bank robbers, we're going after the parking violators. And so I, I think it sounds kind of crazy. I think they need coaches involved with the NCAA as consultants or what have you to let them know this is what's going on, how teams are getting a true competitive advantage.